How's it going? I trust that everyone is enjoying their Sunday. You're going to find today's topic to be really fascinating. Learn how to experiment with this. Obtain a notebook and list the names of the people you dislike along with their positive aspects. In today's audio clip, which is somewhat hilarious, there is a great deal to learn and observe in a small notebook. Please listen to this conversation closely and once again the ending is super. I'd like to thank you for listening to my audios. Wishing you an awesome Sunday. Enjoy and chill. And are you refreshed? Yes. Now what? Hi. <laughs> you seem to be. <laughs> because I knew it. And then I still was surprised. <laughs> We've offered a statement for a long, long time, how the universe will surprise and delight you. And Esther used to wonder how that could be because she would say, if I put everything in my vortex, then I can see how it would be delightful, but why would it be surprising if I put it there? But it's the timing of things, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. I thought of so many questions, but they seem so out of place because of Nothing the... is. Okay. Um... Oh, wait, that one is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we've been talking about so many different interesting topics today that what stood out to me... We've been talking principles and laws and processes, so some nitty gritty is good. Yeah. Yeah. So if I, I know I attract everything to myself. Yeah. And I would love to attract something else at some things in my life. And I'm not sure how well, to do Well, do you think it. you've been asking for a while? Yes. And do you think there's a difference between what you're asking for and what you've currently got? Yes. And which of those two subjects do you think you think more about what you're asking for or what you've got? When something happens, I can only think about what seems to be happening in that moment. Well, that's not a true statement because you could think otherwise, but maybe what you're saying is since I let the momentum get going, then I really don't have any control, but is there a point in which you have more control over whether you're thinking about what you want rather than what is? We really meant it earlier when we said that once you've asked, if you could just not think about it again, it would come about. And it's your incessant thinking about it again from your place of not having it that prevents it from happening. So I want to talk about some specifics that we can guide you. Yeah, one of the things. Um, I seem to be happy a lot. And, <laughs> and when I'm happy and... and I had so many epiphanies. I've been listening to all of these audio tips we have of you and so many epiphanies and it feels so good. But then I have this voice coming up here and we're it's well, I think I'm on the that's your mother. Level. That's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's so sudden that I cannot see where I but you see this is the thing that we want you to understand it's not sudden you had vibrations going on that you weren't owning up to for years we've been saying that there's two ways of knowing what your vibrational content is one is by how you feel and the other is by how it plays out so if you wait until it's manifested that's post manifestational if you pay attention to the way you feel that's pre manifestational and if it's something that you want to be different then catching it before it manifests is always easier than catching it after it manifests it doesn't matter because you can change anything so if it feels like it's sneaking up on you it just means you're not aware which usually means you don't care enough about feeling good sometimes Esther says she and her daughter have this game they play with each other quite often would I rather be right or would I rather feel good and both of them would rather be right <laughs> not really you'd rather feel good but when you're humaning 
and feeling in competition about different things and sometimes you've practiced and so it feels sort of normal to you to think the thoughts that don't feel so good but once you've had a conversation like we've had here today and once you begin meditating and once you understand what feeling good really means and what not feeling good really means then you have more creative control but really what you are bringing to the conversation is a really important thing and that is if you're not aware of what you're doing vibrationally and so momentum is gaining momentum something very wrong with that sentence <laughs> then you really are sort of out of control but if you've been caring more and more about feeling good so you've been feeling good more and more so you feel the dissatisfaction in the early subtle stages when you can pull it back then as you are on that more creative edge where you have more control then you have more control okay so that's why you say you have hot buttons or you have issues those issues are hot buttons are those things you haven't tended to so they're just lurking there ready to surprise and delight you at any turn mm, like I call them triggers like getting a text from this I have a, a companion in one of my businesses and I consider him to be a bully he's not nice well then he can't be okay because I think he he can be because that's what you've decided that's what you've practiced that's what you believe that's what's active in your vibration and so unless he's somewhere in this room <laughs> learning how to tune in and be different than you are calling from him in other words he could be one of the one who's connected is more powerful than a million who aren't so he could be tuned in and not letting your belief about him evoke behavior from him but have you ever made a list of positive aspects about him list of positive aspects we have an assignment for you we never offer assignments you are our very first one <laughs> just take a small notebook and write this person's name at the, at the top or give him a new name it might make you think nicer of him <laughs> the person formerly known as <laughs> and not from a place of trying too hard but just softly and generally make a list of his positive aspects and then read it over a time or two before you see him next or before you interact with him next and watch what happens to the way he shows himself to you want to start now okay um <laughs> So he, um, mm, that hard to find, huh? <laughs> he's smart. He, um, has the capacity to teach about business because he has been in successful businesses. Right. But even now you're sort of hedging just a little bit. You're saying he could be something he isn't. <laughs> if he were just different, he would be perfect. Sometimes you have to go general. For instance, you could say, because he stirs this in me, he must be important to my unfolding. And I know I'm going to benefit by something that's going on here. And I thank him for that. And I believe he genuinely means well. I think if he were connected to his inner being he would generally mean well <laughs> and the fact that he must not be must mean he's got some pressures on himself now you're giving him the benefit of the doubt which is really not like a list of positive aspects but it sure feels better to you don't say things you don't mean because that just makes you defensive against your own statements say things that you do mean that feel good to you when you make them I would like to get along with him I do believe that he has knowledge that I would benefit from. I appreciate his sort of sticking to what he means. Maybe he was bullied and that's where he learned it. More benefit of the doubt than positive aspects, but baby steps, yes? I like the idea of co-creating. I don't want to be the only one in this world. I know that I benefit from each and every person that I interact with. When something feels strong to me, I know that there are strong reasons for it. I have always gained the most from those who have been a little bit challenging. 
I'm looking forward to the relief I feel when I release my resistance about this person I don't want to try to make him the one that has to do all of the work when I know that I'm the only one who really can he could end up being my best friend or my greatest advantage he's got my attention and he's giving me reason to focus and I intend to win this one I intend to find success which means feel good about this and if it were not for him being in my life I wouldn't have this opportunity to own what I'm offering vibrationally and then adjust it to what I want he's making me acknowledge that I'm offering vibrational things in response sort of like in a knee-jerk response in which case I have no control when what I really want to do is always be in control of what I'm offering thank you so much for not kissing up to me thank you for not being one of those who tries to replace my inner being and is sort of successful at it because I look to them for the happy feelings rather than to my inner being this may be one of the most significant relationships I will ever have I'm so happy to have this relationship that ought to do it <laughs> he will be different from now on with you and because you were open your vibration has been allowed by you to rise during this conversation you are in complete vibrational accord with your inner being there was no assertion here you drew all of this forward into your experience there has been a vibrational shift within you that you will now witness what that means and from now on you'll know what to do with every person you know so true <laughs> thank you enough thank you.